Merry Christmas, Marshmallow Fanboy back with another review. This time for both Hawkeyes from the Disney Plus series Hawkeye. Of course, this one called Hawkeye, this one called Kate Bishop, probably hasn't passed the mantle just yet. But it's only a matter of time before she's Hawkeye. So this came out, the, the Hawkeye series came out last Christmas. But these figures didn't come out. I didn't receive them anyway until October. So that was a 10-month wait between, I think, ordering and getting them. Which I don't mind pre-ordering. Uh, after I do that, I sort of forget about it. And just sort of move on with life. And then one day they show up in the mail. And I go, oh, great. Terrific. So let's take a closer look at the packaging for Hawkeye. It's a great, great piece of art. It looks photo real and complimentary photo real packaging on Kate Bishop. And of course, if you put them side by side, you get this great, this great kind of piece of art. And of course, the, the David Aja series had these great sort of symbols and things. So I don't know if it's directly taken from it, but I don't know that it's not directly taken from it. So, um, Give credit to that to that uh, series that was amazing and introduced us to Lucky the dog. Uh, let me spin it to the back. You see both figures come with a piece of Infinity Ultron. Infinity Ultron is what would have happened if Ultron had gotten the Infinity Gauntlet. And he got it pretty easily. It was not a not really difficult to cut his arm off and or cut him in half, I can't remember. Anyway, it's great art on the back of both boxes. Of course, the Build-A-Figure uh, instructions on the back also. Really nice, really nice boxes. Really just, they look like they're from the same series because they have all the same sort of artwork. Of course, you know, the, the costumes are really about the same. And, uh, of course, the David Aja... Um, I think I'm pronouncing that name right. Uh, kind of V in the middle of his uniform. It's really nice. So it comes with alternate hands, comes with the bow, comes with um, the bow with a switch where you click on the thing and it rotates the arrows around, puts a different head on them. Of course, that, that canister down there is probably what rotates and then the, it, it attaches it to one of the arrows. Very cool. And then Infinity Ultron arm. And uh, Hawkeye has two alternate hands. Looks like both of them are pulled back hands, it looks like. I'm not sure. We'll get them out and take a closer look. There's two grip hands, so one of these will have to be swapped to use the bow and arrow. She has the bow here, and on the back she has, she has the arrows, and she has a leg for Ultron. So yeah, this is super cool. I'm really excited about him. I was just a huge fan of the series. And I can't wait to take these guys out of the package and see. And uh, take a closer look at them. So let's do that. Okay, now that they're out of the package, let's take a closer look. Starting with the Infinity Ultron Build-A-Figure pieces. I've got a... Let's see, Kate is the left arm so this is the left yes makes sense with the thumb see double jointed see pinless oh that looks so good see does there's oh there's a hinge in the in the wrist so you can give a pre high five where he's rolling back for it and then he can give a post high five to follow through because good high five needs follow through. There we go. Let's see here. It's a really nice little blade on the side of it. It's um, it's got the bicep swivel. Yeah, that's gonna be nice when it's all put together. And of course, um, I've only got two figures on the list right now. Five figures to complete it. That looks like it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. Um. Four more characters to complete it. Uh, I've pre-ordered the entire wave, so 
Hopefully they get here before Christmas. Mm. Anywho, let's check out the lag. <laughs> the double jointed pinless new sculpting, of course, for Ultron. Uh, toe hinge swivel and let's see. Does it have some side to side? I don't think it does. Let's see here. No. No swivel. But there's a nice piece here. The kneecap hides the helps hide the joints. That piece is very cool. And let's see, no thigh swivel. Does it rotate anywhere? Oh, rotates on the foot. So I guess there is a there, there's got to be a a pivot to it. But nice leg. So let's go over the figures that that uh I've waited for so long for, and I'm going to start with uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye right now has the bow gripping hand and this sort of release hand which is wide open it's a wide open hand like he's just released it he doesn't have a um he doesn't obviously have something that grips the string and pulls it back he's got no they're both closed fists which is kind of appropriate for the series and of course hawkeye doesn't really aim he just he automatically draws and fires so the hand is probably more appropriate for him because there's no, you know, I have him sort of in a, I've already released sort of pose where he's looking in another direction because he hits what he aims at no matter whether he's looking at it or not. So he's got the bow, cool bow with the handle that, you know, he, he clicks on it a few times and, a, and an arrow rotates in it or a, a, a head rotates into place attaches itself to the arrow so he can so he can draw it and fire it very quickly and the bow course came off that was um that was a separate piece in there can't pull anything out i don't think one of these comes out or any of them come out no it's really hard to um deal with sort of a single arrow and try to get it to look good in the bow um i have a hawkeye figure from from a DC Direct, and that that's sort of a problem with the arrows. It got to lay just right. So let's go over it. the The likeness is really good. He's got little little uh, battle damage on the face, which is completely appropriate to the to the um, to the TV show. He took a lot of damage. So let's see if he can look down. Eh, no. Look up. Oh. The, uh, the base of the neck has a joint in it, so he can look up. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, it looks down really nicely. I wonder how often I'm missing that that joint at the at the bottom of the neck on other figures. See, ch -ch -ch -ch. ooh, butterfly joints, giant wingspan. Ooh, there we go. Now we're skydiving. Sorry. Okay. So the head rotates all the way around. It's got a little bit of a tilt to it. Oh, he's got a lot of a tilt to it. Just a ton of tilt to it. Thanks to the thanks to the neck joint. Arms go all the way around. And there is a bicep swivel. That is nice. There is double uh, elbows. No pins. He has this. He can he can sort of go oh gosh what are you doing what what are you doing this is a shame thing let's see he's got a hinge in the wrist so he too can give awesome high fives and the hand of course rotates he's got let's see he's got one just crunch below the ribs but it's not a um it doesn't slide up and it doesn't rotate so it's just up and down but he can get he can get a ridiculous amount of, of sort of like, hey, I'm looking straight up. That's pretty cool. Just a ridiculous amount of articulation on that. The waist, of course, goes, uh, rotates. He has a belt here that looks like it's it's molded down, hides the hides the joint really well. He's got the normal um, 
normal legs, normal ball pin legs, uh, the ball jointed legs, and a thigh swivel and double knees. He can't quite kick his own butt. Better luck next time, bud. Uh, he can point his toe. He can see. Yeah, he's got he's got tilt, so he's got rockers in his legs. He stands up pretty easy. Yeah, this is a solid figure. It's a solid likeness for for Jeremy Renner. It's pretty good. It's not maybe spot on, but I, I if I saw this, you know, on another figure, I'd say, why does that figure have a Jeremy Renner head on it? It looks that good. So that is a great figure. Now, save the best for last. The very first Kate Bishop figure in her appearance in Hawkeye because uh, doubtless she'll have other other looks for other appearances. And she's going to be around for a long time, I feel like. And it's nice to have a, a Haley Stanfield figure. I don't think that um, the, the actress has... Um, another figure in a different line. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to think, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. She's been in a ton, but I don't think so. Nice bow. The bow that she was using in the movie is a, you know, it's a, it's a really nice bow. High end bow. It looks like she comes with two additional hands. Both of these hands are sort of, sort of aiming hands. Kind of, let's see, one of these is, maybe that's a release hand. No, there's some fingers that are curved around. I'm not actually sure. Maybe they're both kind of release. And maybe she's ambidextrous, so you can, you can fire from either hand. I'm not absolutely sure. But I like the little details on the figure. I like the, the bow. I like the, the, uh, the harness in here. You probably have to take the, um, Take her arm off to get the harness off. And I'm not going to do that at all. <laughs> no way. So let's go through it. Let's see. The head. There's a little bit of interruption because of the bow. Or uh, the arrows rather. But, you know, essentially all the way around. Let's see. She doesn't have a thing at the base of her neck. But let's see if she looks up. Uh not bad. Not a lot of articulation up. Oh, down is great. And let's see. Side to side. Head tilt. Yeah, she's got a little bit of... It's it's ridiculous head tilt on the other side. But on this side, let's see. Can I... Oh, I think the neck moves. Yeah, the neck moves. So let's try the up again. Eh, still not bad. But the hair doesn't seem to be interrupting the the uh, articulation any. The hair seems purposely sculpted to go right over the the uh, arrows. So let's see. There's a let's see if she has butterfly joints, and she does. So wingspan about like that, and let's see she's got the nice patch of material here, not here. I don't know what that this that significance is. So maybe she can tuck something under her arm and take a, maybe frictionless or something, like she tucks her bow under there or something. Anyway, see bicep swivel. Double double pin elbows. She can she can absolutely retrieve a, an arrow from her quiver uh, from either arm. That is really nice. She has, yes, she has a hinge in her wrist for high fives and follow throughs. And of course the hand rotates. Let's see, there's a there's a joint under the rib cage that breaks that line. But if you had to kind of twist, that'd be fine. Goes up a little if, if it goes more than that, you can see it's uh you can see the, the crevice in there. It's kind of um not cool. You can see it in her back too. So as long as you don't tilt it too much, but there's a lot of there's a lot of play in that joint, so you can, you should be able to find like a really good position, without without the uh, back being exposed. The waist, oh, the waist doesn't rotate. No, 
The waist has to rotate. I don't think the waist rotates. The belt is painted on. Um, no, it's molded on. Okay. It's molded on. It's got a little pouch. I can't remember what was in the pouch. Or if we knew what was in the pouch. See, legs are the ball, um, yeah, ball joints. And her thighs swivel. And that's almost invisible thanks to the sculpting on the legs. And double double knees, and she can kick her own butt. Yeah, almost. Let's see, she points her toes. It's great. And she has a hinge rock. Yes, she has a hinge rocker. Let's see here. Hinge rocker, let me stand her up a little bit. That's too bad, I think. She just rotates at that center part, but she doesn't rotate on the waist. That's weird. I'm not sure why that is, but the sculpting is really nice. The likeness is great. These are two great figures. It was a great series. And, you know, I, I would still love to get Echo and Kingpin. Those would be great additions. Uh, in addition to, um, no, just, just those two, those four would be great. Um, a kingpin build a figure would be awesome, but I think the next build a figure, I don't know if they've revealed it. I can't remember. So for right now, I don't remember what that build a figure was, or if they announced it. But hopefully, it's kingpin because it's another Disney Plus wave. But until next time, you know, Merry Christmas. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. Uh, spend lots of time with your family. Eat lots of. Lots of amazing stuff, and I will see you next time. Enjoy your toys.